Last time on the 2018 Rampage the Movie series. The missile launcher can move from side to side on a very sturdy tripod. And the missile boxes can move up and down together. This is a lot like the 1983 G.I. Joe Wolverine. Here's the figure that comes with the set, Reaper version 3. He is the least articulated figure in the entire core toy line. And now for the small Ralph. He actually looks great. And he looks fierce with his mouth open. Last time we saw Ralph, he wasn't that big. He was actually just average size. And this time, he's gotten much bigger. I would even say that he could almost rival Mega George. This set comes with a torn apart bus, a chewed off piece from that bus, recoil version 4 with his traditional dual pistols, and the second stage of Ralph. This bus is one solid piece. If we turn it around, we can see that it also kind of has a floor on it. This way it stands up. It also comes with a piece that's been torn off, or by the look of the bite marks, it's been chewed off. So now if we look at the detail of the bus, we can see that it has a crack window right here and up here. This is part of the door, but it actually looks like it's also a window. We can see that it's been torn up by some claws in the front, and then of course the rest of it is destroyed. And then there's a really weird looking chair there. Now I know that this is supposed to be a flat tire, but something about this makes it look like, I don't know, it just makes it look really cartoony. Now we do have some more detail on the inside. We can see the back side of the chair and it does have some magazines in the back. There's also this uh, radio that's hanging down, but I thought this was supposed to be a window on the other side. So I'm not sure where that's hanging from. Now we can see all the dials and uh, the torn steering wheel right there. The pedals, air conditioning vent. So this thing does have some detail on the other side. It's not just a flat piece. And then we do have a stamp on the side right here and it says 2017. So this is a brand new piece. Now the bite marks do not 100% match up with the bite marks of Ralph. It actually fits more on the inner part. But what is pretty cool is that Ralph can hold on to the piece. Well, it's just barely holding on. Next up is another member of the Craftastic 4, Recoil version 4. This is kind of strange. Let's go back into a little bit of history of Recoil. Recoil version 1 had black hair. In version 2, he went blonde. Version 3 was when he joined the Craptastic 4 and he continued to be blonde. Now it's been about 5 years and he went brunette again. Actually the more that I look at him, he kind of reminds me of Creed Bratton from The Office. Especially in that episode where he tries to be young and he quickly dyes his hair. Everything okay? Everything's cool dude. I don't know, I really think it's just that spot of paint that's on his forehead. It looks like he dyed his hair real fast and just went straight out into battle. Recoil comes with his signature twin pistols, and once again, the tips are orange. I'm just gonna go with that last theory about making it the safety toy, but there's no reason for these. I mean, these are miniatures. A police officer isn't going to think that these tiny weapons are real. Now, just like Reaper, I am gonna keep the rubber bands on him just because it keeps the guns on his hands. Now these figures are already static. I don't know why they didn't just mold guns onto their hands. They're just giant army men, really. And finally, we have the large Ralph. For Ralph and Lizzie, we only get a small and large version. Well, I guess we should call it a medium version since this is from the Big City Brawl set. This one looks very flat and he's very long. He's so long that he's actually coming out of the light area in my light box. Once again, I think I would like him much better if he was wider. Now his front legs have three points of articulation. We can move them at the top, at the elbow area, and at the wrist area. 
Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't really know the parts of the animal. His hind legs can move, and so can his tail. And then he does have a jaw chomping action, but it's really weird. Just, just wait till you see it. Now, how would you think that his jaw would chomp? Maybe moving one of his legs, or his tail, or squeezing his legs. Yeah, no, that's, that's not how. He's actually really clumsy. You move his neck up. Yeah, it's kind of awkward to do. Now, I've, and I've tried everything. So I've tried pressing up here, because it looks like there's a button, but there isn't. It's, it's not anything. Uh, none of the spikes are a button on him. His tail doesn't do anything. His moving his legs doesn't do anything. Even if you go all the way back, maybe squeezing. Nope, nothing there. Moving these legs don't do anything. Squeezing both of them doesn't do anything. Pulling, nothing, nothing works. Squeezing both legs, it does not work. The only way to do this, you can't even, you can't even push down on his neck. The only way to make this work is by pushing his neck up. It's actually pretty lame, and we do lose all articulation on his neck because of that. He just looks really goofy doing that. It looks like he's just yakking on a bone. He also has a couple of seams on his wrist area on the back legs, but again, it doesn't move. I gotta admit that getting Ralph to look correctly when he's standing is a real chore. I mean, just look how close together his front legs are. That is just really awkward. I think if there was one word to describe this Ralph figure, it would have to be rickety. He really feels that way. I feel like I'm gonna break him every single time. And all the sounds that his body makes with him, all the plastic just rubbing against each other. It's, he is not a very good figure at all. Now when I first saw this set, I was actually really curious about what the bus would be like. Maybe it was something better than what I thought. And I mean, he's a wolf. Ralph is a wolf and that, that's really cool. I like wolves, but honestly, this set is one that you can pass. The monster isn't that great. And you get another Craptastic 4 figure and the bus just looks like, I don't know, a junk piece of plastic that someone said, hey, this looks like a messed up bus. And then they threw it in the package. It's also very cartoony looking at first glance, but then it's like, no wait, it's a regular bus. But then it looks cartoony again. Which version of Ralph do I prefer? That's actually really easy. I prefer the regular Ralph. And then of course, between George and Ralph, I prefer George. I mean, come on, just look at that face. Now these sets are not that great. Uh, you can actually pass on these if you'd like. I don't know, the wolf is just way too skinny and you get two Craptastic 4 figures and not really any accessories. That's actually really, really lame. So I definitely would not recommend the Ralph sets. I hope you enjoyed the reviews of the Rampage Ralph sets. Next time, we're gonna look at the giant lizard, Godzilla. Nah, just kidding. We're gonna be taking a look at Lizzie.